I am Anil Kumar. Here is an application question on sine and cosine law. Question number 5. Sunset Point Coast Guard Station is 40 kilometers southwest from Rock Point Station. At midnight, both stations pick up an SOS radio signal from a ship in distress at point D. The bearing from Sunset Point is 10 degrees east of north and the bearing from Rock Point is 70 degrees west of south. If rescue boat from Rock Point can make 12 kilometers per hour and the boat from Sunset Point can make only 8 kilometers per hour, which boat will get to the point D first? What is the difference in times? Now this is a very important question. I'd like you to pause the video, understand, make a sketch and then solve. Now we are given directions uh, which are southwest. So let me sketch this. Since I have a limited space, I'll concentrate more on quadrant three. So let's say that is the kind of situation. So what we're given here is Sunset Point Coast Guard Station is 40 kilometers southwest from Rock Point Station. So let's say Rock Point is at the origin, okay? Then 40 kilometers southwest. So south and west means, so here we have north, east, south, and that is west. So when we say southwest, then that means 45 degrees in this particular direction. Is that clear? So, so this angle here becomes 45 degrees. So from southwest, that is what it is. And 40 kilometers, so let's say this point here is 40 kilometers away. So I'm just writing 40 kilometers here. Is that clear? Now, at midnight, both stations pick up an SOS radio signal from a signal from a ship in distress at point D. The bearing from sunset point is, so we'll call this a sunset point, and that is the rock point R. North 10 degrees east. So how do you sketch this part? Let's try to understand, right? So I'll again draw my coordinate axis here. So when we say north 10 degrees east, normally we'll read 10 degrees east from north. So 10 degrees east from north, let's say that much. So it is somewhere in this direction. Is it okay? So that is what it means. And the bearing from the rock point is, so let me use another ink, bearing from the rock point is 70 degrees west of south. So from here, 70 degrees west means kind of like this. So somewhere here, do you see that part? So that is the situation. So what we have here is a triangle and that point is the location from where the distress signal has come. We'll label this as D mentioned here. Now work on the angles. Now since this is 70 degrees, the big angle, the smaller one is 70 minus 45. So this angle is how much? It should be 70 degrees minus 45 degrees, correct? Which is equal to, so, so you get five and six take away four is 25 degrees. On this side, what we have is a right triangle, but we know this is 45 degrees southwest. This is 10 degrees, correct? So we're left with 45 minus 10. So this angle here is 35 degrees. So I hope these calculations are clear to you. Now we can also find the angle at D. You can use your calculator. Sum of angles is 180. So 180 minus 25 minus 35 gives you 120, correct? So, so that becomes 120 degrees. So I hope the angle calculations are clear. Now, we know a combination of angle and a side. So therefore, I can apply sine law. Perfect. So I'll apply the sine law. and find the sides. So SD, this side SD over sine of the angle 25 
should be equal to the known side of 40 over sine of angle 120 degrees right so from here we can calculate that sd is equals to 40 over sine of 120 degrees times sine of 25 degrees right so let's calculate this answer so we'll multiply 40 by sine of 25 degrees and then divide it by sine of 120 degrees it gives us 19.519 so i'm rounding it to 19.2 the units are kilometers is that clear let us now calculate the other side which is rd so rd is the distance from the other station right rock point so that should be equal to 40 over sine of 120 degrees times the angle opposite rd which is 35 correct sine law so we are using sine 35 so again use the same kind of statement you could write like this also this is also equals to rd over sine of 35 degrees so cross multiply to get rd let's use calculator once again so we get 40 divided by sine of 1 to 20 right and then we can multiply this by sine 35 to get our answer which is equal to 26.492 right so let me write 49 kilometers so what we get here is distance from the distress boat point to each station is it okay now we need to find the time taken so we know that here the speed of the boat is this boat is at 12 kilometers per hour right so this boat is moving at 12 kilometers per hour and the boat here moves at 8 kilometers per hour now since we know this triangle let me just make another triangle here distance speed time right so we know distance speed time we are interested in finding time which a boat will take from the sunset point to the distress point so here the distance is sd so we find time let's say t from sunset point is distance over speed now the distance is calculated as 19.52 so 19.52 kilometers and the speed is 8 kilometers per hour okay let's calculate this 19.52 divided by 8 is equal to 2.44 is in hours. Similarly, time from rock point will be the distance calculated is 26.49 kilometers and the speed is 12 kilometers per hour. So this ratio is 26.49 divided by 12 is 2.20 so let me write 2.2 2.2 hours so that much is the time so of course which is faster it is faster to go from rock point so we get rock point is faster now it says which boat will get to D first? Rock point will get first. Now we have to find the difference of time, right? Now we have to find difference of time. So difference of time was that takes longer, right? So difference of S minus R, which is 2.44 minus 2.2, uh, which is equals to 0 0.24, right? this is in hours let me multiply by uh, by 60 to get it to minutes right so 60 minutes one hour right let's do this so you do uh, 0.24 times 60 14.4 so we get 14.4 minutes so approximately 14 and a half minutes right 
So, so the time difference will be almost 14 minutes. Is that okay? So the time difference is 14 minutes. So answer here is uh, faster from rock point 14.4 minutes earlier. Does make sense to you, right? So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. I'd like you to go through this once again. A very important application question. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. Thank you.